What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy. In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to easily pixelate or blur someone's face out. Maybe you have some footage and you're not allowed to show someone. This is very popular with like children or certain people that you don't have like a signature release form where you can use their identity. So in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to easily blur, you know, or pixelate a person's face out to save or, you know, save their identity to not show them. So I'm in Premiere Pro here. And I just have a video clip. And for example here, maybe the person to the right here, I want to hide her identity. A good way to do this is to go into effects. One way to do this is to go into effects, type in blur, and we'll blur her face by using the Gaussian blur effect drag and drop that to your video clip in your timeline. And then first you'll want to adjust the blurriness. A good blur amount maybe is probably around 50. This will really depend on your video footage. And then the next part we'll have to do is draw a mask. So grab the pen tool here and in the program monitor, draw a mask around her face. By clicking and dragging, you can create, you know, different curved points and close it off and drag to kind of get the mask where you want it. You can reposition these different points if you're not happy with where these points are. Then click off to kind of see what you got. And if we go back into our effects controls here, you can adjust the feather. If you want to feather it more, you can expand the mask. Just say if you want it a little bit more out, maybe a little bit more feathered here. You can adjust the settings here. The next part is to actually mask her walking. So as you can see, if we just go forward in our timeline, you can still see her. So a cool built-in feature here on any effect really in Premiere Pro is you'll notice these buttons where you can actually animate the mask and it'll track the motion of the video clip. So make sure in the timeline you are at the very beginning here at zero, zero, and you'll want to click the track forward button. And this will basically track the motion in the video clip and animate the the mask around her motion. And once it's done, you'll see that you have all these keyframes here and Premiere Pro has successfully animated the mask. Now this won't work for every single video clip. You know, if you have a very complicated motion, you might have to go back in here, zoom in and readjust these different, you know, mask parameters. You can also just, uh, always expand the mask or expansion or feather it, you know, if you don't want to actually, uh, you know, go in and try to reanimate different parts. But for the most part, this is a good way to do that by utilizing this automation tool inside Premiere Pro. Okay, so say if you wanted to actually pixelate her face instead of, you know, blurring it, this is another stylized way to do this. A cool effect to use is called mosaic. So very similarly, we'll delete the Gaussian blur effect and we'll go back here to our timeline and we'll type in mosaic. And if we drag this out to the clip, you'll see that we have different blocks. What you can do is expand the number of blocks. They're separated into vertical and horizontal bars or blocks here. So if you wanted to get you know unique, you could do different uh, formations. What I found for you know 1080 footage, maybe around 65 is a pretty good you know, blocking us here. And similarly to the blur effect, we'll draw another mask around her face. The only difference really between these two effects is you probably don't want to add a feather to this mask. You probably want to leave it at zero since it is blocky. If you feather it, it might look a little weird. The, really the only parameter I'd focus on is expanding uh, the mask itself. And the same thing applies here. If you click on the clip, make sure you're at the beginning of the timeline, hit the track forward button, it'll track your face once again. All right, we have our finished clip here. And if we play this back, you can see we have our blocked out person's face. So there you go, guys. That's it for this video tutorial. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, feel free to drop comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Premiere Pro, I created a playlist. I'll link it right up here. Feel free to go watch some other tutorials as well. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe and like the video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.